So hi, Walker. Hi, Ed. We are here on the Make Noise booth, and we're going to look at Spectrophone, right? That is right. So what is it? Tell us. This is the Soundhack Spectrophone. Let's get a little audio here. This is a new digital dual spectral oscillator coded by Tom Erb of Soundhack. We've worked with Tom on a bunch of modules in the past from the Mimeophone and Morphogene back through the Erb Verb and others. The Spectrophone is of course a dual oscillator laid out with two almost identical sides, A and B, like a DPO or a Buchla 259. But instead of analog waveform outs, we have the even, or sorry, the odd and even uh, harmonic outputs on this, and they generate harmonics at the fundamental frequency that we set with the frequency knob. And how they uh, generate the harmonics is dependent on which mode they're in. We can switch freely either of them between the two modes. So right now I've got A in what we call SAM, or Spectral Amplitude Modulation Mode. In this mode, we take the input, patch a signal into it, and it's going to listen to the input and generate a harmonic spectrum at the output based on what it hears. We use the slide control to set what fundamental it's listening for, focus to set the bandwidth of the different partials, and then frequency to set, of course, the frequency of the resynthesized output for the even and odd harmonics. Let's hear it listen to a few different things here. features two inputs and eight outputs of low noise, high dynamic range, fully DC coupled digital signal processing. It is an oscillator, so we can always sequence it. We used a five volt carrier, which helped us achieve excellent signal to noise ratio. The signal processing is a full voltage high. High touch is On the other side here, I've got it in the other mode, Spectral Array Oscillation, or SAO. Uh, once again, we can switch modes whenever we want to on either side, so whatever combination of modes we want. In this mode, instead of reading from the input, it holds arrays of spectra in memory. These are sets of different harmonics that we can select using the slide and focus controls. They can be modulated. In either mode, you've got the partials control that will turn on individual harmonics up the spectrum as we go up. In either mode, we've got high definition frequency modulation. And in SAO mode in particular, since we don't use the input to analyze a uh, external signal and modulate the spectrophone with it, instead we can use the attenuator on the input to detune the different outputs, the even and the odd, creating an interval or chords and things like that. We also have sine wave and sub outputs. And these are going to represent the fundamental frequency no matter what's happening timbrally at the even and odd outputs.
Make noise, make noise, make noise, make noise, make noise, make noise. Great. So, so oh, sorry, go ahead. Ed. No, so uh, is it kind of like ready to go? What's the kind of schedule? We'll be this? shipping this module at the end of May for five ninety nine. It's thirty four HP, and we've already got some videos going up on our channel and others. This morning we had a uh, performance video by Brett Naki playing a few pieces with the Spectrophone. Tomorrow on Friday, there will be a, a long in-depth video on Sarah Bell Reed's channel as well. And we've even got our old pal James Sigler doing a video next Wednesday that everybody wow, should keep an school. eye out for. <laughs> yes, going all the way back. James was, uh, was able to carve out some time, and uh, he was part of the development team of the Spectrophone too. So we're super excited to be working with him again. Um, we are also uh, doing a new version of our 7U CV bus case. And um, it's got a brand new, what we call the four zone bus board inside. This bus board is uh, significantly more powerful than the previous uh, bus board that we've been running for 10 years in the CV bus case. And in th on this board, we have four different, what we call zones that are uh, isolated from each other in the power. So if you're running some modules that are uh, really power hungry or really noisy or anything like that, or really susceptible to noise, you can isolate them from each other, running each one on, the, on, each, of its, on each zone. And then the CV bus has been updated to uh, use the, uh, have a voltage math circuit, similar to one from the Zero Coast. And this is just a, a simple circuit that's kind of like the middle channels of a maths module. It's got offset, summing, and attenuation for whatever you might need in your system. Of course, you've still got the uh, distributed color-coded multiples and uh, line or headphone outputs at the end of the CV bus. And this new version of this case will be shipping at the end of the summer. Perfect. So um, uh, what was the kind of, did we, I can't remember if you said the price on the... Uh, Spectrophone. The Spectrophone will be five ninety nine, and it's shipping at the end of May. So in terms of uh, input sound, when we, when we put a sound in there, mm -hmm. is there any kind of latency or anything, or is it, is it instant? It's, like it's real-time, instant, uh, no latency. Um, it's a, this, Tom has been uh, wanting to do additive um, synthesis for a long time. We did a version of it in the Telharmonic. The Spectrophone's built on a brand new digital hardware platform that Tony co-developed with Jeff Snyder from Snyder Phonics. Um, it is much more powerful than anything we've been able to create before. Um, lower noise, higher resolution, eight full resolution outputs full CV control over every parameter. And, um, and uh, Tom's taken the idea of additive synthesis and resynthesis to some new places that we haven't heard before. And um, we worked really hard with him to, to uh, take his wild, powerful ideas and turn them into a really playable instrument. And we hope that we were successful. I f I'm feeling pretty good about it. So I hope everyone will be excited about this one. So um, are these clock inputs here, down here? The clock inputs, yeah. They, so what, what, how do they, what do they clock? They clock, um, if you're in spectral array oscillation mode, then that it will generally um, let you move through the, spec the, uh, the array one spectrum at a time. It does some other things too. We'll get into more details on it in the coming weeks as we uh, throw more information out there. Brilliant. Well, Walker, thank you very much for talking to us. Thanks uh, a lot, Ed. Great thanks to for see stopping you again by. Back at Superbooth. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, we'll speak to you soon. All right. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers.